Hey, Maritza, how are you? Hey, Lex. Oh, good. I'm good as well, Maritza. I'm sitting here having my tea and I got my refresher. I'm actually in a spot that I used to come to all the time when I used to do my lives, probably about a year ago. I used to always come here and do my lives. I'm like, I want to go back to that spot for some reason. So here I am back, back, back to where it all began. <laughs> what makes you think that? What makes you think Philadelphia? Actually, I'm impressed because nobody ever says Philadelphia. They always say Jersey, New York, Boston. Do you remember Faith when I used to come here? I used to drive out here. This is where like, there's like, it's funny. It's a funny spot because there's actually lots of nature in front of me, but right behind the nature, like literally, literally right behind all the trees and the grass and stuff is a road, like a highway. But it's like it in front of it where I, what I'm seeing is mostly like the, just the grass and the trees. So it's like a pretty little spot. Why does it feel special? I don't know. Uh, Maritza, not that it, feel, it feels special. I just, I don't know. I just felt an impulse to come here, I guess. I don't know. Well, it is special because it's right by my Dunkin' Donuts. It's like just a really quiet spot. The only thing about this spot, well, back in the day, was that um, it sometimes my connection was funny here sometimes very rarely but sometimes so i think maybe that's why i moved from this spot you know um hey christine i think that would just probably i don't know i'm not really a really i don't really like a dunkin donuts coffee uh what was your why are why are east coast people addicted to dunkin I don't even like anything from Dunkin' except this. I just get this refresher. It's, and, I, and I don't even get it the way they make it, ice cold, breezy. I don't even get, the, get it the way they make it. I make it, I get, my, I get my order special. I was there today and I was like, the girl's so sweet. I haven't seen her in a while because this is a different crew in the afternoons. And she's like, make sure it's good. Check it out. Make sure you like it. And I'm like, oh, girl, trust me. I can tell you made it good just by looking at it. And, you know, super, super, super sweet. So I don't think I'm like that, that Dunkin' girl, Ice Breezy. Because I get the one drink. And like I said, it ain't, even, it ain't even the proper order because I'm extra. And I get it with no green tea. I know. She's so sweet, Christine. I had a spill on the way. My tea spilled. And, you know, you know, I ain't got one napkin in this damn car. And I'm like, oh, shit. You, if you see, watch my TikTok video that I just posted. I spilled my tea, got all in the cup holders, and I'm like, oh, well. So I knew I was going to Dunkin'. And then she handed me, because she's so sweet and I'm nice, so people are nice to me. She gave me a whole roll. She didn't just give me some napkins from Duncan. She gave me a whole roll. I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, thank you. She was, she were, she walked all the way to the back to grab me a roll of paper towels for my car. Ah, uh, nah, not New, not New Jersey. I'm from Philly. Born and raised in Philadelphia. Oh, yeah, I listen. I still listen to Abe's, Maritza. I listen to Abe, uh, uh, like, sometimes she pops up on my TikTok, or I'll go to YouTube and I'll just sit while I'm getting ready. I was just talking about this yesterday. And I'll sit on my TikTok and just listen to one of her whole segments. Um, I just, I love Abraham, always. And I see it so much differently now because I'm not working through all the crap anymore. I'm past that point. And now I'm more into, like, Bashar 
and just uh, now I'm that's how I reprogram we talk about reprogramming and I'm reprogramming with limitless stuff I don't want to I was talking about this like we're we know so much more now we know we're so unlimited I'm not trying to program a thousand extra bucks into my bank account I'm I'm reprogramming financial freedom right I'm 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 reprogramming abundance in all areas of my life so when I listen to to Bashar you know his message is because we're like we are literally so unlimited guys like limitless we can create from nothing that's we're creators right so I like his 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 topic on this is me having my own experience and, and it is but like that's what I like to reprogram my mind with like this is me in my own dream it's only me and everyone in it is me and that's the stuff I'm reprogramming my mind with because that is pure freedom that is pure freedom for me to be who I want to be in each moment not thinking about not worrying about what people think about me because it, I, me thinking about what they think about me is just my thoughts right so that's the kind of stuff that I'm reprogramming with not like oh let me get my let me get my ex back you know not like not saying and not knocking any of that that all exists that all exists and you're moving towards it because everything exists but you want to know that you are the creator of your own reality that's what you want to do that's what you want to reprogram in your mind with with those types of beliefs and you get to that point by practicing non-reaction you get to that point of understanding that it's just you and everything's a reflection of you it becomes very clear that everything's a reflection of you Have I, I, you know what? I went to the, I've been to the Rocky Steps. Um, did I run up them? No, probably not. I probably walked up them. <laughs> and no, I didn't, I, I mean, I've, I've, I've been there. You know, it's so funny when you're from Philly because like you don't get excited over those things like where other people are just like, oh, this is so cool. And it's like, I've seen it. Like I've been on trips down there for school so many times and you just, all we did was walk around pretty much. Like, we didn't even do anything probably. We just wouldn't. And, like, the, the like all that stuff down there. And I think, like, yeah, I've walked up and down them, but not, like, my, my one son used to play um, baseball down by there. And a lot of his practices were right by there. So we would just walk by it. But you're so used to seeing it that it's like, ah, it's just, you know, not that it's not cool. I'm not saying that, but. Hi, Sunflower. Oh, yay. I love hearing that, Stace. That was me yesterday, girl. Man, I woke up and I said, what the heck just happened? Like, I felt so, like, energized yesterday. And it was because I was listening to affirmations on speed. I talk about this. I play around with my affirmations. And I'll start sharing this stuff with you guys probably more so. The more, like, and I listen to them in speed like literally fast fast motion they're just like playing really fast and that's what gets me in like a hyper energy but i like it i you know i like being in that energy it gets me moving it gets me motivated so i listen to like certain things in just a fast pace and maybe i'll start sharing it a little bit in lazy manifesting and i'll start making a few audios in fast motion i like playing around with that like sometimes i listen to it in a more slow motion like I can slow them down and then I'll do more like a fast. So maybe I'll do something to where like as you're sleeping, it can be more in slow motion. And then we could do the faster ones like during the day while we're getting our day started. And when we feel like, listen, because it's all, it's all really serving you. Trust me. I think that's what happened. Listening to the, to the fast put me in this high energy. Not to mention the night before I was listening to a lot of Bashar stuff. I, I listen to what I want and I search it. So I'm not one to just listen to like a whole video that bores the shit out of me. I'm like, I need to get right to the point. That's how I've always, re that's how I've always, um, that's why I can't read a book and why I don't really listen to the whole thing of things. I just like take out what I want. I'll do things around the house and then I'll be like, oh, I like that. And I, that's where I would, um, edit it to just what I wanted to share with you guys, what stood out to me. And that's what I listen to over and over again. So, like, if I'm interested in a topic, I will search it, and I will put Pashar next to it. Like, I will say, um, 
infinite realities or blah, blah, blah search or uh, more about it's only me, Bashar. Like I'll get really specific and then I'll just find other people that talk about it and I'll hear their perspective and I'll kind of put to, put it together what resonates with for me, what feels right, what resonates and I and what interests me. It's like I can't read a book. Honestly, I think it's amazing that people can because I find it so boring. Like I, I like I just want to know exactly. Like, I'll get to I'll go right to the end of a book. Like I I have in the past like I just want to get to the end just tell me like how this is all going to like I don't need to all the middle stuff. But that's just me. That's just me, right? Hi, Clover. You know what? I'm not too much of a whiz girl when it comes to my cheese steaks. I, I'll have some, but I want Amer. I like American cheese. I'm a good old. Give me a couple slices. Uh, I love me some American cheese. I'm all about the American cheese. Now, like, I love when you go to restaurants and they have um, American cheese, that, that kind of cheese to dip your fries in. That's what I like. Or I also love, 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 love queso, but not spicy queso. I want the American cheese kind of queso. So I'm not really too much of a, of a cheese whiz girl, like the orange cheese. That's just not my fave. I mean, I love all cheeses. Trust me, if there's cheese was on my cheesesteak, I'm going to eat it still because I love cheese. But um, I actually prefer American cheese. Yeah, I'm more of a listener. Like, that's what I said. Someone, um, L8 was like, is it okay that I'm listening to your audio while, like, working and doing things during the day? And I said, yes, because that's how I listen to Abraham. I would just, I, I'm not kidding when I tell you guys, Abraham Hicks was in my ear 24-7. 24 7 but I wasn't listening I was just going about my day and I would catch things that oh yes yes so whatever would st stand out to me that's what I always used to edit for you guys and that's what I used to post on my TikTok at first before I started talk chatting on here hey Aaron hi Ashley I love that I listen to subliminals Mm -hmm. Hi, Nay. As long as you're feeling good and you're doing all the practices, um, I, I don't, um, yeah, whatever works for you. Whatever works for you, whatever's working for you, Nay, you just keep going with the flow. Make sure you're feeling good, focusing on yourself. That's the main thing. The main thing is, is that you're focus on your, focusing on yourself. You're constantly bringing your awareness back to yourself and reminding yourself that you create everything in your reality or even create your everybody. You create everything and everyone. It's it's all perceptual. It's not like you're not, they're having their experience, but you're, I always look at it as like you're either bringing out the best in someone or the worst in someone. That's what I always say. Like that's how I've always lived my life before I knew this. And it's, that's kind of what it comes down to. So like in that moment when something happens that doesn't feel so pleasant, I can continue this. Or I can shift the momentum right now by just sitting back, saying quiet, and letting it pass, or just smiling and saying, "Oh, I'm sorry about that. I just didn't, I didn't see it that way." And you walk away. So that's why I would say you're either bringing the best out of someone or the worst out of someone. Right, Faith? I love it. Kira could literally pull. <laughs> Uh, of course, nay. And just make sure you're having fun, right? That's what's really important. That's what matters. Thanks, shadows. Yesterday, yesterday was funny because I was on a, like, I was like speedy. Like, I couldn't stop talking about it, this stuff. And I was getting so many different responses back and like every now and then one would catch me that someone was like oh you don't know what you're talking about or and I'd be like oh my god no don't focus on that and it's funny because I was just like in the zone you know but that's gonna happen so I was making a video today about how like it's not about if you react it 
Reacting is okay. It's about are you still reacting, right? Are you have you did you get over it? Are you still letting it bother you? Are you still trying to figure out what you could have did or should have did? That's what's get. That's what gets us. Okay, so what? I reacted. No big deal. Did I even react? Maybe not. You know, just keep moving forward. Don't try to figure anything out ever. That's what we want to stop doing is trying to figure things out. Trying to trying to think that there's even a problem. There's nothing that needs to be fixed, right? That's how you live in the present moment is by fully accepting the present moment. By fully accepting the present moment and, and where you're at right now, that's what keeps you moving forward. Accept this is where I'm supposed to be right now. And you keep relaxing into that. Stop thinking that there's something more you have to do. Stop thinking that like, you know, everything's not going according to plan or that something's not going right because it all is. It's all going according to plan. What do you think some people out there don't manifest quickly, consistently? Well, the okay, so Faith says, why do you think some people out there don't manifest quickly, consistently? Well, it's just a lack of knowledge, right? Because, and, and it's, it's where you're at energetically. Like, certain things in, have not manifested into my experience but I know that things are always unfolding for my highest good. So it's all on how you're perceiving it in that moment. And I know I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. Because when I think about all the, the journey to this point, it was a learning journey. It was an unlearning journey, right? And if I would have accept, if I would have gotten things too soon, I would have been settling. So to me, it's not about that. I think you're working with your higher self. And by accepting this moment, you let things evolve in the right way. I don't think there is a wrong or right way or a quick way or a wrong. I think it's all happening the way it's supposed to. That's just how I, I believe in things. Um, so it's more so it's more so of where you, you have to be honest with yourself too, Faith. And I think that's what it comes down to. It's like, all right, I can see now where I'm holding on to some resistance in this area of my life, right? I can feel that a little bit, but I still, I still know it's all going according to plan. I know more now in this moment. You know more now in this moment. You know you can't make a mistake. That's huge. That's really big because once you know you created everything in your experience and you will always be creating everything in your experience, everything's just a reflection. This ain't, and you know this, there's nothing serious going on. This is all for fun. You don't stress about it. You're like, I know I'm, I'm moving towards best and better at all times. The, the biggest thing is that we can't see the big picture. We can't see the big picture. And that's what gets us every time. That's what gets us. When you say have fun, do you mean just doing our daily stuff or go do something fun? Uh, whatever you want it to mean. When you say have fun, do you mean just doing our daily stuff or go do something fun? Like what? It means not taking this seriously, that this is, this is for fun. It means to be light about life. Do whatever you want. You can take a nap. You can rest. You can take a walk. You, can, you, you get to do whatever you want. That, that's, that's my message. My message is that this is all for fun. There are no rules. There's nothing you have to do. There's nothing you need to do. You're probably doing too much. Honestly, most of us are doing too much. We keep efforting. We keep trying. We're like, oh, I got to get harder. It's not working. The thing about it is, is that everything's always working. Everything's always working for you. But because you go back to old pat, we go back to old patterns. We try harder in that moment. We effort more. We're like, I got to do something about this. I got to fix this. But there ain't nothing you got to fix. And that's what you got to start telling yourself. Right. And that's where in regards to manifesting, when Faith was saying, like, how come some you're always manifesting at all times? You can't turn manifesting off. The reason why people don't get certain things or they think they're not getting certain things is because they're not trusting the process. They're not trusting the process. Like I always say, like, for me, things unfolded without it was just light intentions. It was just very light intentions because I was flowing. And I'm like, oh, I would like to start doing this. I always talk about my hoodies. That's a big one for me. So I was like, oh, I really want to start. I want to create hoodies so bad. So I sent that intention. I started manifesting it. I started doing it. I started working too hard. And I'm like, all right, I got to do this. I can get my son to help me. 
And I was like, you're making, I heard a voice. You're making it too hard. This is way, you're making this way too hard. You're struggling right now to try to do this. And there's no fun in that. So I took a step back and I, I stopped doing anything in regards to it. I literally let it go. I tell this story all the time. I woke up at like 7 a.m. I, the first website that I had a vision of the night before called Bombfire, literally had a vision of it. Woke up that morning. It was the first one I seen and I created those hoodies in 15 minutes and I had them posted onto my TikTok. Relax, have fun, it's done. Literally. Like it took me 10, se- like not 10 seconds, I'm exaggerating, that, but 10, 15 minutes, I'm not exaggerating. And they were up and going. I let it go. It was probably about a few months though, where I just, I, I kind of just stopped Matt. I was like, no big deal. I don't, it's not even that big of a manifestation. It's something that I wanted. I had that desire, but if I don't have hoodies, it's not the end of the world. Right. But I'll tell you, we try too hard. We try too hard. That's the thing. Who was that? Thank you for that. I just, thank you for the rose. Carla, is it Carla? Thank you. Oh, thank you. I agree. I'm smart, but simple kind of woman. I'm not doing shit. Right? I get you, girl. Faith, I totally get you. Like, the thing about me is that, like, I'm both of those things, too. Like, I I am, I am, like, a very laid-back person, and I have my bursts of energy, right? But I also don't want to be doing anything I don't want to be doing. And I don't want to get caught up in that again. I, I want it to just happen. And it, it's, it's, it's flowed for me in so many different ways in areas of my life where it just happened so easily by me not forcing anything. And people always talk about this. And it happened so beautifully by me just not doing anything. And it's like that's just our humanness and our programming of like, I got to do. I got to do something. I got to I got to work on this. There's something I got to do. I got to I'm doing this wrong. But no, you're not. Everything's going the way it's supposed to. You you got to actually do do less. You got to train yourself to take that step back and tr- it you got to train yourself to tr- trust the process, guys. Like in in all in all honesty, that's what acceptance is. Acceptance is is it's blind faith, right? It's like I don't see I can I I know what I want. I know what I want. I know my most abundant timeline exists, right? I know that. Anything that I'm manifesting is included in that. I know it's done in the best way possible. But I, I got to stop trying to trying to control it. I can say some, some um, affirmations, like I'm abundant, the ones that I share with you guys. And you can say I'm wealthy. You can say those types of things. That's fine. Don't say it, though, if there's resistance there. Because of your, it's just don't. You're not... That's not the path of least resistance at all. Focus on f- doing things that feel good now with where you're at. And a lot of it is just releasing what doesn't serve you anymore. You have to learn how to not be scared. That's huge, right? You have to learn how to not be scared because when something shows up and it's causing fear within you, it you hold your blessings from you when you keep giving the feeding into the fear. And on the other side of that fear is something so beautiful. And that's what happens. And I've seen it and I've done it in my life too. So this is this is speaking from experience. And I've actually delayed things because I feed that fear. I panic and I react to that fear. But if I would have just sat pretty and if I would have just took a breath or two and I would have said it's all okay. This feels scary. I know it's scary. If I would just trust the process and not react and not try to fix it it would all really unfold very nicely for me and i it would move me towards more of what i want but because because we panic and we think somebody's trying to hurt us or we feel like this isn't going our way or it's very scary we make it about that we make it about the person and the situation and the circumstance and we give all our power to that thing right when really this is all about us moving towards best and better and if you can just sit back and calm yourself down in those moments You'll and give it time, I know, and and keep calming yourself down. You'll see what it's going to move you towards something really amazing for yourself and more excitement and more freedom and more joy and more of more more of what's in alignment with you. Uh, you know, this top this was a, one of my faves. Yeah, I crack up laughing. You guys, I am like today bloomy i don't know if she's on here but she's like girl i love your nails i'm like girl these were from the dollar tree and they are my favorite nails 
so much to the point where I keep gluing them back on. That's how much I love them. So when nails start to pop off, I'm done. I pop them all off. I can't part with these. Dollar twenty five. Dollar twenty five. Because Dollar Tree ain't dollar store anymore, right? And I'm going to go back and get more because I love them. I love the way they fit. I love the way they look. They just fit my nails so perfect. Um, this shirt, this shirt here was from a favorite store of mine called Rainbow. Rainbow does not is not there anymore at the store that I always used to. My daughter always would crack up. She's like, do we really got to go in Rainbow? I'm like, yes, I got to go in Rainbow. I got to get my tank tops. I love these tank tops. But Rainbow's not there anymore. These tops are like literally $3.99. I'm not even kidding. I would just get every color that they had. But now Rainbow ain't there no more. Oh, I love it, Gina. I love hearing your guys' story. I love it, love it, love it. Oh, Faith, I love that. I always go back to Faith. What I always go back to when you say, like when people say stuff like that, thanks, Gina, is that we're infinite, right? We're limitless. We're unlimited. So why wouldn't we strive for the easiest, for the most peace? Why wouldn't we strive for that? It, it takes a lot of deprogramming, right, to do to get to that point. But it's not hard pro deprogramming because you're really just relaxing. To that's why Abraham talks about relaxing, relaxing. That's why relaxing it allows things to just unfold very naturally, and it gets you to a place of like I always say this. Like I've manifested so many amazing people in my life by by just going with the flow. And amazing, um, like anything, anybody that like purchases things from me are just good people. They're people that are truly aligned. Not that not, not saying there's bad people. Don't take it the wrong way. But like anybody that's purchased any, thank you, Faithy. Anybody that's purchased anything from me, anyone that's in my memberships, anyone that's in my Facebook group, it's like it's they're all me. They're all my people. They're all like just easy going. No, no, like. Never anybody getting angry about anything or like it's been just such a great experience for me like so far, so far. And I know it's only going to get better. So that, that's what I mean by so far. Uh, by just trusting and going and making it, you got to make it about you always. So that's what, that's where it gets, whenever you start to feel like it's getting complicated, you're probably, you're probably making it about other things in your experience. So always bring it back to you and that, that's what sim simplifies it bring it back to you and in this moment and relaxing in this moment and saying, okay, like what can I do in this moment? I'll tell you what, you get to such a place of peace in your life. Like I am at night when I don't have anything to do and my kids are busy. I'm like smiling. I'm like, all right, what can I do now? Like I can do, I can have my cup of tea. I can do a live. I can, I can clean a little bit. I can bake something or get a shower. Maybe I'll blow dry my hair. I'll do my hair. Like I have just so many more things that I've accumulated over time and they're just like stuff like that to do. So I don't get bored and or now I'm like occupying my mind with like more of the deeper concepts. They're not deeper. I say deeper. It's not about the concepts being deeper. It's just about them being um it's it's making you feel more limitless. It's making you feel more free. Just knowing that it's just me in this experience talking to me. Literally that's freedom because I don't care what people think about me anymore. I can be me. I don't have to worry or care about the people that don't agree with me because they don't, they don't resonate with this stuff and that's okay too. And I don't get mad at them either. I'm not going to argue with them. Why would I do that? Because the more you're confident in who you are, you wouldn't, you're not going to argue with someone that doesn't get you. I'm just going to let them move on, right? Oh, I know there's no, there's no trial right now. There's no trial, but I know it stinks because it came down because I don't do the Patreon stuff. The Patreon is something that I use. I use their site, right? So, so now, yeah, I know it stinks because I would, I would love to see you guys and meet you guys in the Zoom. I'm starting to do the Zooms. I'm starting to do them every Sunday. That's a new thing I'm doing. It's one of those things that, listen, it's 20 bucks. You could do it and you could cancel. You don't have to stay. You don't have to stay. 
I look at it. I, you know, it's, that's another manifestation for me because a long time ago I did coaching and I didn't resonate with coaching at all. I felt like it was therapy sessions and I just felt like it wasn't benefiting anybody. And it was like, it consumes you because it's like four o'clock appointment, six o'clock. It's like, what, like I couldn't live. I couldn't live. Um, so I always said, I want to do group coaching. Group coaching feels better to me. I feel like it's a bunch of us in there. You know, me just kind of, I kind of sit back. I'll answer any questions, but I kind of let you guys talk, talk about where you're at, you know, listening to what you guys say, you know, chime in if I need, if I, if I feel the need to, but for the most part, it's you just tell me where you are at and how much progress you're making. And everybody learns from those zooms so much. I mean, I do talk in them too. I'm not going to say I don't. Sometimes I do, but I like hearing, I loved, um, uh, Stacy sincere was in and she was, she pretty much was talking about where she was at the whole time. And it was so helpful. I could tell for other people that are kind of close to where she's at in understanding this and on her journey. And cause I was where she was at. So I totally get what she's saying. And there's, everybody's at a different place in this. So it's just helpful to hear other people's stories. That's kind of what it is. But they'll run it again. Keep listening for it, Faith. Keep keep a lookout for those types. Of, I always try to keep a lookout for it as well and post it. Ah, oh, Kirk. <laughs> Thanks, Kirk. Oh, you too, Aaron. Have a great day. Yes, we are, Aaron. Yes, we are. Today marks the 90th day since working for the man. And Oh, I love that. But yeah, the practice is, is one practice. It's one practice. You're constantly settling into this moment over and over again. And you're reminding yourself this is all fun. This is all for fun. Everything's happening the way it's supposed to. Everything's going according to plan. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. You know, it is about working with things that show up that don't feel good because you want to work with those things as much as you can because they're going to, they will clear the path for more that is in alignment with you. So it is about working with what doesn't feel good. You have to work with what doesn't feel good. And that's a practice in itself. That's going to help you though. That's going to help you be more relaxed. It's going to help you go with the flow more. It's going to help you not be so reactive. At first, we feel like, ah, why am I doing this still? Well, it's just old. It's literally just old. It's an old belief system. It's an old story playing itself out. You work with it. You hold space for it if you need to. You work with it. You stay kind in those moments. And like I said, that is a practice in itself. That is non-reaction. And the more you do that, that's your path of least resistance. The more you do that, you move to where you want to be quicker, right? You got to look at everything as, because, and this is the truth, as your creation. And I created it to help me. Everything's here to help me move towards best and better. So you got to look at everything in your experience as taking responsibility, right? I created everything in my experience. We're all waking up now. Thank you, Gina. We're all waking up now. We're giving the choice to wake up, right? Not everybody has to go this route. This is, this is you know, this is a choice. This is a choice for sure to move towards. It sounds like why wouldn't everybody to move towards more freedom? Well, it's a practice and you got to stick with it. That's why it's, it's a practice to keep settling into this moment and relaxing in this moment and knowing you're exactly where so it's you're, it's blind faith. It really is. It's trusting in the unknown because you're not seeing the big picture at first. And, and many areas of your life, you may not see the big picture right away. You just constantly settle yourself down and relax your body and say, I know I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. I know everything's going according to plan. If I'm more calm and non-reactive, will my husband mirror me? So you don't want to get caught up, Cheryl, in waiting for your husband to mirror you because that's where we get trapped. That's the trap because just your comment 
not saying I can, I'm not going to read into your comment, but like just be aware of where you're at when when you're fo you, you got to fully focus on you, and you got to you got to feel good no matter what. That's when the shift change changes. You it, it's more you know what it's more so about Cheryl. If anything, it's more so about not taking things so per we take things so personally. We think because, and we, we start telling a story. So if someone comes out and they're, you know, they're a little, their energy is a little off, we automatically make it about us and we start to tell a story and we're like, oh, they're miserable or my God, now they're acting like that again. And we don't just allow those things to just play out. We start telling a story, we create more of it. When if you just said they're a little tired, so what? You know, okay, they're just a little tired. I'm just seeing it. Uh, if you start getting upset, you say, I'm just seeing it a little wrong. And you just move past it because you need to feel good no matter what. That's where you're going to start to see the change. So if people say to me, if they keep coming to me and they're like, I'm doing your practices, I'm feeling good, and they still haven't changed. I'm like, that's not my practice. That's not my practice. You're waiting for someone to change so you can feel good. You need to feel good first. And you will know the difference. Because what I always tell, now, Cheryl, I'm not calling you out. I'm saying this is what happens a lot though. You, this, you, you would never come to me if you were getting this because it's really more so about Cheryl and guys, not things not affecting you anymore. That's what keeps you moving forward and out of those circumstances is by you are unbothered, unbothered. You keep moving forward, feeling good, knowing what you're moving towards. And that's how you, that's how you're living your life now. You, you can't. We, we're so quick to tell a story, though, if somebody if somebody seems off or if something seems off and we make it all about us. We take on all of that. We start creating and everything's perceptual. You're perceive It's how you're perceiving something. And if you just calm yourself down and you relax a little and you're like, yeah, you know what? They're just so a little tired. They're still waking up and you, you just move on about your day. You won't keep seeing that. You're going to see a completely different person, right? Hey, Kay. Hey, Susan. Right? Right, Faith? Went through betrayal with my close friend. How to deal with it? I'm shook. Well, Jim, it, it starts with knowing, like, do you, do you know, like, that you create everything in your reality, right? When I ask people that, like, you create everything. So everything's a, a reflection of you. Everything's a mirror. So like when I say that to people and I, I wait for the response, well, and they say, yeah, I, I get that. I get that. It's all me. Everything's reflecting back to me, giving me an opportunity to move towards best and better. Then I can, we can chat. But if, if you're not, if you're not, you know, in an understanding that you create everything in your reality, then it, it's not worth chatting about, right? You got to know what I mean? So you got to know you create everything in your reality. Everything you created up until this point was all your creation. It's all coming from you. Everything's coming from you. So if you want to move towards best and better with your friend, you got to first know, okay, well, there's an amazing relationship with my friend that exists right now. It exists right now. I'm moving towards it right now. And in these moments, whenever you're feeling bad about your friend or this story about your friend, you gotta you gotta quiet that down because here's the here's your you whatever you focus on, whatever you give attention to, is what you experience in your reality. All right. So here's the two timelines. Here's the one reality. My friend, we're we're having a disagreement. We're not getting along. And here's the other one that you can't see yet, but it exists. Oh, we're we have the best friendship ever. We are BFFs, and we are having the time of our lives. But you're sitting here talking about this one. Oh my God, I can't, they're mad at me. This is it. Well, guess what? That's what you keep, that's the one you live in. So you got to calm yourself down whenever this one pops up. I know that we have an amazing relationship and I, that's all I need to know. I know that that's done now and I know I'm moving towards it now. And you got to keep doing that so you can actually experience this one. But you can't react to this one. You can't talk about this one. You can't keep venting about this one or you stay in this one. It's actually very simple. Like when we realize that it's just our focus and attention that keeps things in our experience. But we have to accept that first. If we can't accept that, then you can't, 
you're just going to keep re experiencing what you don't want, right? So you got to go back to the you got to go back to the simplistics of this that what I focus on, what I give attention to is what I continue to experience. And everything is a reflection of me. Everything's mirroring mirroring back to me where I'm at. And it doesn't matter what's happening because a lot of it's old. It matters how I'm responding to it. So think about it like that, right? Think about it more like that. What I focus on, what I give attention to is what I continue to experience in my reality. If it shows up and it doesn't feel good, it's giving me an opportunity to move towards best and better. That's all it's there for. It's just showing me that I got to quiet that down. I got to relax in those moments so I can move towards best. I can move towards a better version of it, whatever that may mean. And that's it. I mean, it's so simple. It's so simple, but we got to practice the reason why you do relaxing practices is also so you can get to that point of understanding. So you can slow down from time to time. So you can take those pauses easily. You can slow your energy down. You get better at slowing your energy down. You connect to the higher perception. You can't even do that if you're, if you're just constantly complaining about what you don't want and you're just, just not wanting to move towards best and better. If you keep focusing on what you don't want and talking about what you don't want, you're not doing the practices of taking that pause and saying, all right, I ain't speaking about my problems anymore because that ain't getting me nowhere. We all know that don't work. I got to learn and find a way to quiet these stories that do not serve me down. And how I've learned over time is by working with them. I work with them. That's what I do. I work with them. I mean, it took me practice to get to that point, but... Whatever's going to keep me moving towards best and better, whatever's going to keep the peace, whatever my path of least resistance is in that moment to keep me moving towards what I want, my dream life that I have all mapped out for myself, I'm going to do whatever I can to keep that peace. I'm not causing myself any more resistance, any more guilt, any more, you know, arguments with people. I want drama free in my life. So I'm going to work with unfavorable stories. I'm going to work with those awkward moments as much as I can. Those uncomfortable old stories playing themselves out and just be like, relax my body. What do I got to do to keep the peace to move forward? Because that's what I'm about. I want to get, I want to keep moving towards what's best and better for me in, in my life. Oh, Faith, I love that. I just love here. Like that means a lot to me. It means a lot that you guys tell me that like certain things did help you over time. Cause you know, like even me, I'm sometimes I'm like, I do say the same things over and over again. Right. But it's, it, it just, it is so simple. It's just the repetitiveness of it. The reminders are what you need. That's what I say. It's all about the reminders and the practice, the reminders and the practices, right? Thanks, James. Yeah, so Nicole says it's simple but hard to turn your mind off. What I say, Nicole, is it's so easy to relax your body and soften your body, but it's just as easy to let old patterns take you down. So it's like it's just as easy to just relax your body and soften your body and just say, you know what? I got more going for me over here than this old story. I got more going for me. Even if it's unknown, I got more going for me in the unknown than I do with this story. So it's really in a moment, it's, it's in that moment, it's calming yourself down, always taking that step back. I don't think I could have ever have gotten where I am if I didn't constantly take that step back. Taking that step back to calm myself down and remind myself that where my focus goes is what, what will continue to grow. And I would rather go to the unknown. Because I, I, I know there's more freedom in the unknown. There's more things that are in alignment with me in the unknown. So it, it's that scary for people. This is more comforting. The old patterns are more comforting. I'd rather go to my friend and her to help me. I'd rather go talk about someone to hug me right now and hold me right now. I get it. I get it. It's a, it's a human, it's human nature, right? But it keeps, it does keep us in patterns though. So not saying anything's wrong or right. You are where you are. You got to do what's best for you. This is just through my experience, guys. 
what served me better that never served me. It may have gave me some relief in that moment was really learning how to trust in the unknown. And that is a process. That is a process to fully trust the unknown and say, all right. And that guys, this includes what you want. It's not, you're not saying, I don't know. I'm just letting them decide what I want. Your most abundant timeline exists. Your manifestations exist there in the best way possible. You can have whatever you want. It's not saying you're not saying what you want, but in order to really get these things in the best way possible, you're, you're, you're throwing in the tail. You're, you're just like, you know what? I trust you. I trust you. I know you know better than I do. And these old ways, these old habits, these old patterns, they're, they're just keeping my blessings from me. They're stole, they're delaying the process. They're delaying it. They're delaying me from actually living my dream life, moving towards my dream life, moving towards my freedom, seeing what I'm truly capable of, you know, seeing what I truly planned here before I came here. And it sounds all big, but it's actually not because you're only accepting this moment and where you're at and knowing I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. So that all sounds all huge, right? When you say that, like my dream life and my extravagant life and all the things I came here to experience. But in order to get to that, it's a, it's full acceptance of where I'm at. I'm exa- I'm literally, how much peace is that? Cause that brings me so much relief. Like I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be right now. I don't got to do a thing except sit here and talk to you guys. That that's, that's what I'm doing right now. Right. Is it, I know I'm exactly where I'm at and it took me many times and now I get up and I used to have so much resistance in the morning. I get up, I start my day. I know I'm exactly where I'm. So I know this life's supposed to be fun. I sent out a little, um, audio in my membership today in the Patreon. It was so short. It was like 10 seconds, but that's something I'll listen to on a loop. Like life is magical. My life is magical. My life is fun. There ain't nothing serious going on, blah, blah, blah. And it's just that little thing just cause that's all this is. And, and just constantly saying, I know I'm, I know I am where I'm supposed to be. Now, like I said, you can start tapping into anything you want that brings you joy. If it feels good, affirmations, techniques, you can do all that. You don't need it. You definitely don't need it. And you don't want to be doing it. If you're experiencing lack still, you have to be honest with yourself. That's why I didn't, I didn't entertain any of that. I stayed away from that until I was really starting to know that it's like, I know it's done. I know how this works now. I know that I know you have to get being an energy of knowing everything you want is done. You get to have whatever you want. You got to be, you got to know you're worthy. You got to get to that feeling of full worthiness. Then you can start tapping into those things and things happen very quickly. But when you're feeling, when you keep wavering that wavering energy and my practices will help you to stop wavering too. I say my practices, like there's like all these guys, it's relaxing. It's constantly settling yourself down, but it's being able to say, all right, I may, I, you can't make a mistake. So stop worrying about if you made the wrong decision, there's no wrong decision, make the decision and stick with it. That's where your power lies. Not in, oh, what should I do? I don't know what to do. Who cares? Who cares? Just pick one and choose it and stick to it. Listen, I'm going to tell you guys right now, stories about me, a story about me. So I always, I had a very, um, was always confident in myself. I had a, like always knew, like I would always get the job. I always got the job. I always got the jobs. I would always have choices. All right. I have, I got hired by these four jobs. What the heck? So I would sit there and I go, all right, this one's too far. This one's around the corner, but you know, all right, I'm going to pick the one that's convenient. And I would pick the wrong one, but who cares? I didn't make the wrong decision. I would just say, you know what? This isn't vibing. And I call the other, I call the other place and I say, Hey, are you guys still, do you need someone? And they said, yeah, come on over for, for a little, for an interview. And I walked in that place and I said, this is the one it was further, but it was the one I knew it. I knew it. My soul knew it. You're, you're going to get to where you need to be. Your soul knows the path. You don't human. You doesn't my human mind took me to the most convenient. It was around the corner. I could walk to that place to work. I said, of course, this is the one, right? That's your human. That's your human. You got to take a step back and you got to say, because then, like I said, I didn't make, you can't make a mistake because I went there and I was like, no, this isn't it. This literally isn't it. I do not vibe here. I do, I do not feel it at all here. I don't feel it. And I said, I got, the, I, I swear to you, I walked in the front doors of that place and I said, this is, the, I am supposed to be here. I felt it. 
I felt it as soon as I walked in the doors to that office that I'm supposed to be here. I'm supposed to work. And it was the, probably one of my best jobs, honestly. So you got to, it's where I woke up though. It, that job is where I woke up. That job is where I woke up, let me tell you. Because that's where everything shifted in my experience. But it was such a great awakening. Like just that whole that whole moment walking in there, like being like, you can't. Your soul knows the way. Your soul knows the way. I know. Yeah, Faith. I love that about Bashari. I resonate with, I always resonated with that. Um, the, I always resonate with pick your highest excitement and like pick what I always used to say, how I used to say it is like, pick anything, pick anything because as long as you're making the best of it and you're choosing it and you're sticking with it and you're making the best of it, that's, that's full power. It's when you can't decide that's suffering. Not being able to decide being indecisive is such painful energy to be in, right? Like, I can't, I don't know, should I sh just freaking make a damn decision? Just freaking make a damn decision, line up with that decision, and I trust you, me, everything else will take care of itself. Because you got to also know that I, and, and this is another thing, I, could I have made the best of that office? Yes, yes, because that's who I am. I could have made that, I could have made the best, I could have made, made that work. Because that's who I am. You can make the best of any situation. Am I stuck there forever? I didn't even say it the other job, right? So that just goes to show. So, so I always say that too. Like you can make the best of any situation. And when you've gotten that down, when you've gotten yourself to a place where I can make the best of anything, you're getting this and you're moving forward fast, fast. Because you move. What happens is as soon as you start making the best of situations, every situation, even if you don't really want to do it anymore, you're not energetically vibing with it, that's what moves you out of it. That's what moves you out of it so quickly, right? And it's it, it's the knowledge now because now we know more. We know more. We're more aware of what's going on. So now when I'm working with something, guys, it's not like... You, like someone said, I thought acceptance would keep you where you're at. Well, you can see that not knowing what you know. You know now you're unlimited. You know now you can have whatever you want. So I can see where acceptance, not knowing this information, would make you feel stuck. Like, I guess I got to settle for where I'm at. No. No, accepting where you're at and really making the best of where you're at is what catapults you to the next best thing. Yeah, right, Faith? And just think about it. Like, hi, Des. Hi, Brenda. Sorry if I missed any of you guys jumping in. And what was your Faith says facts plus there really is. Oh, thanks, Brenda. No mistakes in life. Just Yeah. So, so, and you think about how unlimited we are. So, like, you could tell a whole new story. And, like, as soon as you have a thought, it's happening. It's unfolding. It's already being created for you in the best way. So like as soon as you're like, oh, I would love to do this. It's starting to already be created. That's why I say it's already done. You're just lining up with it in each moment. And we're so unlimited and we can dive into such amazing new ways to live our lives. To me, it starts with feeling good though, like getting in that feel good energy and you know, releasing yourself from all the limits, as much as limitations as you can, as much as you can, and learning how to break down all these, these, these programs and belief systems, they don't work for us anymore. That there's no freedom in them. There's no freedom in them. Freedom is being able to choose in each moment. Like, all right, this is what I feel like doing today. This is what I want to do today. Not having like people, I need you to do this for me and I need you to do that for me and please do this for me. And it's like, oh God, you're pulling all these, you're pulled in all different directions. And it's like, you're like a slave, right? Like that's not freedom. Freedom is you getting to choose. Like I'll do this for you. Sure. Let's take a ride. I want to go here. Do you want to go with me? Yeah. All right, let's go. That's freedom. Not like feeling like you have to cater to people all the time and take care of people all the time. Just, I get to do, I do these lives when I want to do them, right? I, I post when I want to post. I I do what I want when it feels good to me. Not because I have to. I don't want to be, I don't want to get caught up in like, I got to create TikToks all the time in order to keep my stuff flowing. Absolutely not. That's not freedom. That is a job. 
that's a job. I talk about this all the time. I talk about as soon as it becomes a job, it ain't fun no more. It ain't fun. That's another program you're running on. That's another belief system you're running on. I don't want to live my life like that. I just want to create. I just want to create when I want to create, when I feel inspired to create. I just want to be me. That's it. Like, you know, just flow with life. Hi, Butch. Hi, Tara. Hi, Helwa. I, I, I said it was so funny because I said to my, I was talking to you guys yesterday how I've always heard this and I've always resonated with it, but never knew what that meant to, for me. And it was whatever you loved to do when you were a kid, go back to when you were a kid. And this is so true for me because this is exactly what I do. What did you love to do when you were a kid? Well, I love talking to myself in the mirror and I talked about this yesterday. I know I'm repeating myself and that's what I'm doing. I'm talking to myself in the mirror. And I would be in the mirror, so expressive, and I'd be like, I'd be talking to like, I don't know, it was myself, but I'd be, I'd be playing pretend, like literally with all my friends, and I'd be like, yeah, girl, right? And that's how I was when I was young. And I'm like, I'm literally doing that with you guys. How, how weird is that? So always go back and think to yourself, what did I do as a kid? Like, what did I love? Where, where was I most, my most expressive as a kid when the world didn't get to me? And try to tell me, like, were you singing? Were you a singer? Right? Were, were you a little actress? Like, did you love to act? Did you play dress up? You know, go go back to your, to your yeah, Christine. It makes so, I'm not kidding. I would be like, I'd be like pushing my hair back and talking. And I'd be like all myself, like literally like this. And it was just me being myself as a little kid, as a little girl. Until I got older and I went out into the world and I couldn't be myself, right? Because I was afraid. And then, so always go back to that, guys. Like, what did you love to do? Did you, did you love to sing? Did you like to, were you dancing all around the house all the time? Or, you know, until the world got to you and said, oh, you're being weird or stop doing that. Or you can't do that. Or, you know, like, oh, time to go to school. Time to do this. Time to do that. Time to, do and like took our, took our freedom away from us. Girl, I think I was Oprah back in the day. I used to do that too. I used to do that. I used to play talk show with my friends. And who do you think was the host? Me. I told my daughter about this too. I was like, I was always like that girl. Like I was like, oh no, I'm the host, right? Um, I used to play that. I used to play like Oprah and stuff. That's so funny. Yay, Leah. I can't wait to see it, girl. Uh, I was thinking about you, Leah. I was thinking about you, and I was thinking about your your TikTok, how you said, keep doing it. You never know where it's going to take you. you. It doesn't have to be the same. It can change over time. Things can change over time. Like, you don't, you're not stuck to, like, anything. Like, it can just develop. You can, you know, mix it up, and it just, it just make it fun, keep it fun. And, oh, my God, I'm so, I'm, I'm so happy for you. So I would sit my friend, family down and sing. I literally love that, Rosalie. I absolutely love that. Right? It's like if we were able to like truly be ourselves at one point, at one point, right? Yes, I'm so excited for you. All right, Stacy. Yes. Yes. That's huge. That's so huge. Like I said, you, you know, like I say my kids are little me's like they're all me. Like they're my reflections and they're learning too. And the more that I'm in alignment, they learn from me. So it's about me being that positive example in their lives and, you know, not feeding into when they're not feeling so great. Cause that would be like also just giving them that space they need to start to feel better working with them, whatever, you know, sometimes, sometimes it's just a hug. They just need a, a hug because they're feeling, because they're learning, they're moving through life too and having their experience, whether it's literally, it's, I know it's my creation, it's my perception and they're, they're me, but you know, I'm their mom and that's what I chose. I chose that experience. So now it's more so about me, like just kind of letting them do their thing or work through whatever they're working through on their own. And if they need me, I'm, I'm there, right?
I think I'm very similar to that. Uh, Farida, as a kid, I always wanted to be alone. Me too. I mean, I would play with friends sometimes, but I loved being alone. I loved playing Barbies by myself. I loved playing baby dolls. I would go from baby dolls to... I was I was pretending I was pregnant very young. I was like having like the stuff in my stuff. I was so little to be doing that. But I was like, I knew I was going to be a mom. I knew... I, like, I had my whole future planned when I was young. Oh, Leah says, I was always the host or teacher. Yes. Girl, so was I. I was the boss. I know. You know, it makes sense why I always had friends that were a little younger than me. It sounds really, it sounds mean, but like I could be, I could be the boss. That's why. But my daughter's very, was always the same way. And I always picked up on that when she would have friends over. I'm like, oh my gosh, she bossy. She bossy. But I was too. I would always be like, I'm going to be the pink, my little pony. And you're going to be the green, little po my little pony. Like I was, <laughs> I, I just think back to that stuff. It's so funny. It's so, it's actually really funny when you really think about it. I was, <laughs> I said like, you know, we had that, that main character energy. That's what I call it now. I was just watching one of your videos and saw that you were live. Oh, Shalina! I am from Philly. Y15. I like hearing about you guys when you were young. You don't have to unlock the memories. Um, you just, I seen someone said, Hart said, Trema, you don't want to stay focused on that though. Because remember where your focus goes is where, where you're, where, what will grow. So if you're like, oh, I had so many tra traumas as a kid, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I had them too. We all had them. But the more you feel good, you, it's all about forward movement. And the more you make the best of where you're at, those things will unlock themselves. I didn't even think about that. Till recently, till recently, and I've been doing these practices for a while, that wait, I used to talk to myself in the mirror all the time, constantly talking to myself in the mirror, and that's exactly what I do now, and that's what I love to do the most, is talk to you guys about this stuff, right, so like, that stuff just unlocks itself, you don't have to go back to when you're a kid, you don't gotta unlock anything, you never gotta go back, you never gotta go back, that's, that's not gonna get you to move for, further, so it's really just about not telling that story, that, oh, I had such a traumatic past because that's keeping you victim. That's keeping you victim to your circumstances. It's, oh, wait, I know now that I create my own reality. I know now I can live an amazing life. I know now that's what I'm here to live. And it's about moving forward. And the more you accept where you're at and make the best of where you're at, fully accept where you're at, knowing what you're moving towards, those things will unlock themselves. They literally unlock themselves. Oh, I love that too, Leah. So I think about my daughter and I always say what she used to love to do. She was, she was dress up. She was like, she would get like just a blanket and make it into like a gown and stuff. And I always tell her that like, and she was, and she's quiet too. Like all my kids are quiet because they're reflections of me. They're reflections of me. And she used to sing when she was little and she was so expressive. And then like, as you get older... The world just, I don't know, quiets those things down inside of us, right? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, I love that, Stacy. Why do we have... Oh, you asked about that, Sheppy. So, the reason why you have deja vu is because every reality exists. Every possibility exists. So, deja vu is you just living something that you thought of, right? It's like, it's, it's literally a timeline. It's like, almost like, 
jumping a timeline. So it's more of like knowing that everything's happening now. Everything's, everything exists now. Everything exists now. That's how I, re I remember, um, who said that Dolores Cannon, she's like, your wording makes a little bit of a difference, right? Everything exists now. So when you're like having that deja vu moment, you're just tapping into something that exists now because everything exists here and now. I always say like for me, I jumped timelines. So I could, I see, and as soon as you, as soon as you think something, it's like that, that reality exists right now, right now. It's all about you choosing what you want and that's what you're moving forward. That's what you're moving towards. Like, and you're sticking to your guns. Like, I want this. This is what I want. Like, I want to live on the beach and you're sticking to that. I want to live on the beach. I want to live on the beach. That's what I want. I want this car and that's the car I want. And if you stick to that, knowing what you know now, because now you've done these practices for, you know, it's done you because that's why you want to, you want to learn how this stuff works. You want to learn how this reality works first, because then you don't, you just know, you know, everything exists now and you only got to keep focusing on it. And then it's going to show up. Right. When I started switching cars, like first I was Jeep. Now I'm on Bronco. Well, that's all you're going to see now. That's all I see is a Bronco. I see it everywhere I look. Cause now I'm like, oh, now I'm about the Bronco. First I was like, Jeep, Jeep, Jeep. I was seeing Jeeps everywhere, white Jeeps. I want a white Jeep. And now I'm like, oh no, I like the Bronco. Up, switched my, and I went from like SUV to Jeep to Bronco. And like, you see it everywhere. That's you manifesting it. You're literally manifesting it. That exists for you. That timeline exists for you. You can have whatever you want. It's all you. And that's why you want to get good at really, um, uh, reprogramming your mind with that kind of stuff, that everything exists now, everything exists now. And then you start to get more discipline in your energy. You're not all over the place. Do I want it? Don't I want it? That's, that's wonky energy, right? That doesn't feel good. And you're, that's why we don't get it because we're still wavering and we're not trusting that it's done and it's going to show up. Don't worry about it. It will be here. Yeah. And you're not waiting. So I know it sounds like a lot, but it's not when you do it, this, these practices, because it's like, you're not waiting for anything anymore because you know, everything's always unfolding for you and you're not in a waning energy because you've already practiced feeling good. So now you're at peace. You feel good with where you're at. You're in that just very good, solid, secure energy. You know what you want now and you're able to be disciplined about what you want. And you're able to say, I want that. And you can have a couple affirmations or whatever you want to do to, to, to think about it or to bring it in. Cause I've, I've manifested that way. It works, right? Just affirming over and over again, it works. And you know, you're in that energy of what you want. You know what you want. Cause you know how this all works. Everything exists now. Everything exists now. Anything you could think of. As soon as you think it, it's done. It's done. And the more you feel good, you bring it in the best way possible. And you can affirm like, that's when you know you're ready. Like, all right, I'm, I, I say it like that and I mean it all right, I'm ready to affirm like crazy. I know. And it's also knowing like everything is moving you towards it too. You don't got to figure out why you're doing this or why this feels best or, you know, you don't got to do anything. That's what's important guys. You don't got to do anything. It's going to be natural. It's going to be natural. Everything's going to flow effortlessly. If you get too much in your head, you can't make a mistake either. So if you try, it's okay. But my thing is, is like, you don't have to try. You just sit back, you keep doing what feels good in this moment, keep relaxing, keep making the best of each moment, keep, you know, settling into this moment, doing things that feel good, doing things that, you know, feel the, feel them the best you can. And that it'll just, it'll just evolve. It'll just happen. And then you can, you can focus on what you want to, you can look at a picture or you can have affirmations or any of that, but you've gotten to that point where your energy is more disciplined. That's the key is to get your energy more disciplined. I wake up in a panic attack and your audio, you are so free. Oh, yay. I love that, Amber. I know I listen. I do the same thing, Amber. I do the same thing, guys. Like if I wake up in the morning, I listen to like a little audio or one of the audios or something. I always go down to my audios. I go through all of them. I have all of my lazy manifesting plus my own stuff. And I just scroll down the one I shared in Patreon today. And then I listen to that over and over again, just to get me back in alignment and to remind me this is all for fun. It's just a game. Ain't nothing serious. Go no rules. And it puts me right back in flow, right back in flow.
<laughs> yeah, I don't have, I didn't post any sales today, but I do have a sale. Um, today, I always have some type of a sale going. If I don't post it in my story, I try to post in my story every day to let you guys know. I do, I like to keep these updated, but always check the link because you can, you'll see. You'll see what's going on. I think right now, hi Liv, thanks Liv. Right now I have, um, it's the eBooks and Lazy Manifesting combined. So even if you have the eBooks, you would be better off getting the whole package because if you look down at Lazy Manifesting, it's at full price, but you can get it for like practically nothing if you look at the thing. So it's Lazy Manifesting and all my eBooks together right now. That's I think that's the sale that I have going, but. Just always click in the link and you'll see everything. It's pretty simple. I try to keep things simple and easy to see and understand on there because that's just how I like it. I just like it to be like cleaned up as much as possible. I love it, Mike. I love it. Tips for when you drive, when you see two headlights What, what would you say? Oh, I'm seeing what Leah said. Now I got to scroll up and see what I missed. I have my vision set in stone now. It feels so real now. I love it. I love Leah. I love when you feel good about it and you're just like, you know, you just know and you're just like, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I, I'm, I'm just now I'm just enjoying life because that's what it really comes down to. And you're just enjoying life. And like I said, you can listen to you don't have to listen to anything you can say it you can say it in your mind your affirmations as you're going to sleep if you want you can just say things like that I know I'm worthy I know I'm successful at that point you know you just know there's no more there's no more trying to convince yourself um oh Bronco Barbie hi girl I know I'm now now I'm hooked I, I actually saved one of your videos too, Bronco Barbie. Shay. <laughs> oh my God, I hear me too. Like, no way. Oh, well, that's so funny. It's so funny that you're saying the same thing as me. Yes, girl. Exactly, Faith. I'm reading what you wrote. Whatever. Anyway, yeah. I'm just... Reading. Oh, yes. I love that, Leah. Yeah, and you just... Oh, wait. Bronco, uh, Shay has a question. Let me see. I have a question. I left a narcissist and I have been having panic attacks for no reason. So, so basically, same thing, Shay. Right back to the practices, relaxing. You know what you're moving towards. You know you're here to live an amazing life. You know how this works now. You know, you're going to keep learning, but you it's all about settling yourself down in those moments. It's always the same practice. It's always just relaxing your body. Relax your shoulders, Shay. Just breathe because you're bringing you're bringing all that energy back to you in that moment. Calming yourself down. Relax. What that does, Shay. See, relaxing is the first step. Relaxing your body is the first step, Shay. Because what we do at first is we constantly think of what we don't want in the beginning. And that's a very normal pattern. And we don't catch it quick at all. 
We don't. We're, we're very unconscious. We're, we're, we're very focused on what we don't want for a while. So relaxing your body, you hold all the power when you're relaxed. So things are automatically going your way. They're starting to move in the right direction. You can't see it yet. You can't see it. You can't. You just trust. You relax. You feel a little better from relaxing, but yet the stories are still playing out at first. In time, the more you relax, the more you just relax your body, settle yourself down, maybe do some breath work, just breathe, settle yourself down. The more you do those types of practice, Shay, you catch those moments. You're going to catch that, oh, that story popped up. Oh my gosh, I'm thinking about that again. And you catch it and you're able to shift out of it. You calm yourself down and you shift. Nope, I know how this works. I know everything's working out for me. I know what I'm moving towards. I know that everything's going according to plan. But at first, you're just relaxing your body. That's it. And that's the part that people, like, they, they forget that you got to do this for a little bit. You got to relax for a little bit. You got to settle yourself down for a little bit. And then you'll start to catch those thoughts, those those unconscious thoughts, those ne- those negative stories that don't serve you anymore. Does that make sense, Shay? It's such an easy thing. Such an easy thing. Um, yeah, I don't, Sheppy, because you got to focus on yourself. I don't teach manifesting that way. I'm not teaching you how to get an SP. I don't do that. I don't, I don't teach it that way. That's limiting. That's limiting. You got to focus on yourself. 100% on you, Sheppy. Really, honestly, truthfully. If you're going to ask for my honest advice, it's to stop doing those techniques to bring somebody in. You got to be feeling good and full and confident on your own. You got to feel secure and confident on your own. Then you can start doing those types of things. But right now, you got to feel good with where you're at. You got to feel good with who you are without that person. And that's my tips and tricks. I'm not going to tell you to start because it's it's really just limiting. Your, you're limiting yourself. You're going to get it and you're going to be triggered and you're going to still be unhappy. And you're not lear- you're not really getting the fact that you create everything in your reality. You're creating them as well. And you're not if you're not getting back what you want, it's because you're not confident yet. And that's the, that's the truth. And then we got Leah jumping on here. She's going to be doing, teaching us some, um, she's going to be teaching us the tapping. We're going to be learning about tapping on here. When I get negative thought, I straight away tell myself, no, I am not. That's so good, uh, Farida. Yes. Yeah, that's good. If you can shift and that's what starts to happen, like you get it quick. You're like, ah, no, no, no. You ain't get me this time. I used to do it. I'd be like, you ain't get me this time. No, no, no. We don't wear, we don't go backwards. We, we move forward in, in, in this, in this life, in, in my bubble, we move forward. Yeah, um, Leah's, Leah's going to start doing it more on her TikTok. So we could even bring her on here, like when she gets in a rhythm and stuff, and do like a, a duet or something. I know, I know, Shay. I know, Shay. You know what, Shay? I'll tell you right now, girl, we're all like, it's so similar and we all have very similar stories and most people are this way. Most people like, and that's the thing. It's like, you're letting go of control. You're softening it up and you're learning how to flow more. And that's what actually gains your control back in a positive way. So you do get control back. You're not giving up all your control and just Oh, like everything's just going to flow. And no, you do actually gain control back. But at first you're really letting go. You're working with what you got, with what you've already created, making the best of, of the stuff that, you know, doesn't really feel good to you anymore. Learning how to work with it. So that is kind of letting go. It feels like you're letting go of control because you feel like a doormat. You feel like, I'm um, just like letting it know, but you're really learning how to work with it to release it.
And that's what's actually letting you move towards more positive things, things that are in alignment with you. So you will get that, you will be getting control back, but more in a more positive way. It's so hard to explain and it's, you know, as you go, you know, as you're going, as you're moving forward, what I'm talking about. Like when, like how I explain it is if like, I didn't want to do this anymore. Like I didn't want to do something like, um, I'm, I'm tired of. I don't know, cooking dinner every single day. Like, I, I, I can't do it, right? It's just too much. It's overwhelming. But there was more resistance in me not cooking dinner. It was like, I felt so guilty. I'm like, oh my God, I can't feed my kids fast food every day. So I just learned to, to do it. And then, and I would work with it and make the best of it. And it just started to evolve to where like, wait, I'm not doing it as, as much. They're not even home now. It's just me and my daughter. And it just starts, you start to go and in, move into things that are more in alignment and it starts to work for you. But when I'm so focused on not wanting to do it and I'm huffing and puffing the whole time, I'm not moving forward. And when I'm, when I'm not deciding, I'm not going to do it and I feel guilty, I'm not moving forward either. Right? So it's really learning how to work with it the best way possible, which for me, it was actually just doing it I'm going to do it and I'm going to make the best of it and make it fun. And I was starting to have fun. And then I noticed it was like evolving to where like, wait, I'm not even doing it that much. And you become aware of that. And you're like, well, my life's gotten easier. I don't do it every day now. It's like, they're not even home half the time. It's just me and my daughter. We go around and grab something quick together. Like, and it just slowly started to transform into work in my favor. Does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? The best way I can relate to anything, the best way I can explain stories is based off my life with my kids because that's my life is my kids, right? So that's the best thing I can go to. I love it, Stace. Yes, breath work is really powerful. for day off work to go to stepdaughter's first game in boss and got mad and hung up worried all of my job was feeling in alignment with going and was only asking and I'm confused with your comment you said you asked for off you were afraid to ask and you did and your boss got mad? Well, your your boss only got mad because of you, because you were nervous. If that's what you're saying, this has happened to me. It's all us and our energy. So if you're so conflicted and you're so afraid to ask and you're feeling nervous, that's the that's what you're going to get back is someone and now you really shouldn't. It's but it's all you. You're creating everything. Uh, you just have to get calm. It can it can work in your favor. There only is this moment. I talk about this all the time. Reacting is fine, and getting upset is reacting too. Is same as angry. It's all reacting. You just gotta calm yourself down and say, "I know it's still gonna work in my favor. I'm still going to this thing. I want to go to this thing, right? And I'm going to this thing." And you just gotta stick to that story. It'll it'll all be fine. It'll all work out fine. But just accept. Like we have to start. We have to really accept that. Like we create everything in our experience. It has nothing to do with the other person. They they can only give you. They can only give you what you believe, right? So it's, it's all within you. It's all your thoughts and beliefs that create that experience. I, that, yeah, that's what I was just answering. I was just answering Voice Spell's question about if that's what you're sending out, anxious energy and afraid to ask and I'm going to lose my job, well, that's what you're going to get back from your boss. She's going to be angry. Do you get what I'm saying? Like we, we, that's how this works. The everybody and everything is a reflection of our own energy, right? All these experiences that don't feel good to us is a reflection of our energy. So basically just calm yourself down and remind yourself, yes, I'm, I'm going to this thing. It's all over with. It's really about not thinking about that anymore. You got to know 
you that yes I'm going to that thing and I'm moving forward with it but if you keep thinking like oh my god I'm gonna lose my job oh my god I'm so upset you just keep recreating that you create everything in your reality use it to your advantage to do the practice literally I had the same thing happen to me I my daughter was getting surgery for her arm she broke her arm and I I was like so nervous to ask I don't know why I don't know why I was nervous. I was doing these practices too, which made it even worse. I was more sensitive, right? And I was probably like in the beginning of really doing these types of practices. And I was like, why am I so nervous to ask for off? Like, that's not like me. Like to be like, it's, she broke her arm. I'm taking her to surgery. She's getting put to sleep. And I already prepared in my mind that she was going to be angry. Guess who was angry? My, my boss, not my boss. She was the manager. But it didn't stop me from going. I still went to the surgery because I knew it was me. I, I was I was starting to I was very in the beginning of learning this though and understanding this. I still know, knew she was only giving me what I was giving out. Nervous, anxious, afraid energy. Right? So so but I still was gonna go. I was so but I had to, but I made it so much more drama than it had to be. Because I was like, oh no, I gotta go to that thing. Who do you think I am? And I started complaining about it and and I was always like, oh, I'll go to my boss. Because, like, he, I, I always would get what I want. I always did get what I want. But I made it so much more dramatic because of me. Because I was still not secure. It's all you. It's 100% you. Does that make sense? Oh, I know, voice, uh, voice bells. I totally relate to you there. I told, keep on calming yourself down in these moments keep on relaxing because it's you're going to get to a point to understand like you're telling the story and it's always going to go your way when you can relax more and remind yourself that it's all just a reflection of me like i get to get i get to have whatever i want it doesn't have to be so it doesn't have to be so extra like we make it so extra because we still have we still have insecurities that we're working we're working through right so just keep calming yourself down, relaxing, and telling yourself, no, I'm going, I'm going, of course I'm going. And you only got to tell yourself that to build that within. Because then when you do approach it, you're going to be more confident. And then you're just, because because that's what I started doing. I started getting, I started working within, not, not out, right? And I would be like, all right, I build my confidence up. And I'd be like, all right, nope, I'm getting that off. I'm getting that week vacation. Of course I am. And I would, I would build myself up. It's all in that security in that moment and that confidence in that moment, right? And if you can build yourself up before you do it, you'll be fine. And then you'll see, wow, this does work. It's all me. So, so yeah, we don't have to go back and figure out where this is coming from or why this is happening to me. You can change it in that moment. So, I, cause I had the difference. Sometimes I'd be confident I get my way and sometimes I'd be in my freaking head about it. I was already preparing for the damn worst, right? So, um, I noticed the difference. It's all you in that moment and your energy in that moment. So try, try it, build yourself up, tell yourself, you don't got to tell anyone. Of course I'm going, of course I'm taking that day off. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I would go in, I go right to my manager. I'd say, Hey, I need off this day. Okay, girl, mark her on the calendar. Boop. And it'd be done because I built myself up before I went in there. I built my confidence up before I went in there. But if I drove the whole way thinking, I know she's going to say no. Oh my God, why am I so nervous? Why am I doing this? Why, why, why? I don't know. I just was at in a moment where I was more sensitive and I was making it worse. But I don't care. It always showed me. It always gave me an accurate reflection with where I was at every time. So if anything, it always taught me. It always taught me that it's all me all the time. Thank you, Cece. Yeah, I'll, I'll upload it, Amber. Um, I'm going to upload yesterday's today, and then I'll upload this one tomorrow. So, yeah, so it's not about going back. It's not about trying to figure out why this is happening. It's confidence in that very moment. It's security in that very moment. I used to play around with this all the time. It, you know, and it, you, you can't blame anyone anymore. It, it, there's, no more to, there's no more people to blame. It's all me. But that's empowering. That's empowering. But you don't want to tell that story, Sam. You don't want to. That's a vic. Like, I know that's annoying. You just got to keep showing yourself. 
that you can do it right now. You can be confident right now. Build yourself up right now. Right now. Like right in this moment. Say no. No, no more shame or guilt. I ain't playing that game anymore. It has nothing to do with we create it. We create that feel that need to defend ourselves. We create it by not setting that boundary in that moment. You you set that boundary in that moment within and then you go, I'm taking off. Yes, and that's it. But we 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 we're, we're very wavery in our energy and not secure that in that moment. Uh now, hon, I don't think you can have that. And you're like, woo. And then now I got to defend myself. That's it. Time to fight. Time to fight, right? But you cause it all. You cause it all. And you want to, you, listen, you can't make a mistake. So play around with this. Play around with this in your everyday life. Show yourself what you're, you got kids, right? For who got, who, for who's got kids. Show yourself that confident energy of like, no, we're not going to the store right now. No, we're not. Like, I'm not going right now. You, you, but you tell yourself first within, and then you, then you say, no, nah, not now. And then you leave it at that. And then they don't say nothing of it. They go about their day and nothing's ever said from it. But it's when you say no, right, not right now. And you feel they're going to be mad at me. Oh my God. They're going to hate me. They're going to talk about me. They're going to say I'm a bad mom. And then that's it. You created a whole new drama, a whole new extension to that story. So it's like you play around with it. Remind yourself everybody's just reflecting back you. And you start fe- building yourself up before an event, before these things. Telling yourself, like, this is how it goes. It's all internal. It's all internal. Well, this is what I always say, Lynn. There ain't no rush. There ain't no rush to any of this. You don't need to, you don't need to, to like, whenever we say like, oh, it's taken forever, right? It's like, what? It's not even, there only is this moment and you can't make a mistake. That's huge. And there's no rush to any of this. You ain't going anywhere. That's what I always say. Like you literally don't die. So we might as well just make the best of this moment because we ain't going anywhere. We're never going to not exist. We're never going to not exist, right? So like, just start living now. Start having fun now. It's not It's not the opposite where we used to think, well, you're going to die one day, so you got to live your best life. No, you actually are never going to die. So it's actually the opposite. So start living life now. Start getting yourself in those better energies. Start living your, you know, feeling that, getting a taste of that freedom now and moving towards that freedom now, moving towards more positive belief systems so you can live that dream life that you want now and forever. And then, then it's just going to keep getting better. It's just going to keep on getting better. So I didn't really do that, Lynn. I didn't, I, I didn't do any of those things at first, Lynn. There's a lot of effort in that. I just, Lynn, I did relaxing practices. You know, I know it's not, it doesn't sound like the most fun thing to do at first, but I got, I wanted to get rid of all my, uh, my, my unconscious crappy programming first, my limiting beliefs. And that was just relaxing. I was relaxing a lot, meditating, doing those types of practices and visualization, Lynn, that'll kind that'll come natural. That'll just start to happen. You don't got to force visualization. You don't got to train your mind to visualize. I tell this all the time. If someone's trying to teach you how to visualize, they don't get that you, you're, this is a visualization. This whole experience is a visualization. It's all a dream. You don't got to teach yourself to visualize. Don't even try. Because if you're, here's the thing. If you're teaching yourself to visualize, you don't get that you create your own reality yet. So that's, you want to get that down. And another thing is, if you're trying to teach yourself to visualize, you're you're probably still in lower energies. Because when you get in higher energies, you realize you don't have to do that. That all just happens. You're trying too hard. We never want to try. We, whenever we're efforting, we're making this too hard and we're buying into a program. Again, we're going back to those, those old patterns that don't serve us. So what I always say, Gina, is that you are spirit having a human experience. You, you, you are spirit though. You're, you're pure positive energy at your core. 
You are pure positive energy. This here, this is just a human experience. That's why it feels more heavy. That's why it feels more dense. But like you're dreaming it. <laughs> you, you are dreaming this. This is all a dream. It's all an illusion. It's all an illusion. But you don't got to worry about that. Don't even get into that because it's supposed to be fun. Don't get too much wrapped. Don't get wrapped up in that too much. Because you're here to have this experience. You're, you're here to touch. To touch. To drink. To have this human experience. So don't, don't think too much into that. Right? Because even I don't. I don't. But you don't. My, bit, my message behind that is you don't got to teach yourself to visualize. You don't got to teach yourself that. You, you do it all the time. You manifest all the time. You're, you're never going to stop manifesting. It, you can't stop. It's a never-ending thing. You're just always going to be doing it. Now, you're just becoming aware that you do it. That's the difference. Now, I know that I do it. Now, I get to choose. You're choosing now. I call it choosing. Now that I know that I can't stop manifesting, now I'm just a chooser. I'm a chooser. I get to choose what I want now, what experiences I want. And I get to say no to the ones that don't feel good to me anymore. And I don't got to say them out loud. I go within quietly and I say, I don't like this anymore. I literally, that's what I say. I go, I don't like this anymore. This don't work for me anymore. This don't feel good to me anymore. This don't feel my soul anymore. And if we are aware enough, we'll see that we're moving out of it pretty quickly. What happens sometimes is that as we're moving out of unfavorable things, we, we start to attach again to them as they leave. And we're like, oh, no, no, I feel guilty or I got I to gotta keep doing that. But the more aware you become, you, real, you just let it gracefully leave your life and you know you're always taken care of. You know you're provided for. You know you're always moving towards best and better. So when it comes to meditating, I've always found, and I was always an avid, avid meditator. I used to meditate every day for like an hour before work, when I used to work. I found that it was more beneficial to take pauses throughout the day. So to stop and take that pause, that 10 minute pause. And then, and then like just a, just a minute or two or three and stillness and in silence. And I felt like I made more progress in connecting in those moments and moving forward than if I were to do that whole hour meditation thing. Now you do whatever feels best for you because I used to meditate, but I realized that that was kind of like just me sitting there for an hour in and out of my head, in my head sometimes. And it just, I, I really probably didn't need to do it, but always do what feels best. How do I get closer to myself? I feel like I lost who I am. Well, Jada, just know that separation, anytime you're feeling like that, you're feeling disconnected, there's always just limiting beliefs in there. It's a lie because nothing is separate from you. Nothing is separate from us. Everything's connected to us. We're all connected. So anytime you're feeling that disconnect, it's like, oh, there's, there's some lies in there. There's some lies in there, right? So I always say, it always goes back to my same practice, Jada, and it's really just doing relaxing practices. Settling yourself down every time you start to feel bad, every time you start to not feel so great. Just relax your body, calm yourself down, and bring yourself back to self. And that's going to keep you moving forward. It's going to keep you feeling more connected and more connected and more connected. It is only one practice. I know it sounds crazy that all you're doing is relaxing and settling yourself down, but that's actually what's going to move you towards freedom. Yeah. <laughs> Alexander says, step one, relax. Step two, have fun. <laughs> yeah, so you're not, you're, you're probably not learning to trust the relax, relax, relaxing. It's probably just hard for you to relax. It's hard for a lot of us to relax because we're always like, I got to do, I got to do, you got to, you got to relax. I used to say this, this is what I used to say, Sapphire. I used to say, relax into relaxing, relax into relaxing. Um, you got, you got to let go. Get, get yourself, get in a bathtub, get in a warm bathtub, get in some sunshine, 
Get in a get in some sun. Get yourself a heated blanket because I'll tell you right now, it'll be so easy to relax. Once you get yourself a heated blanket, you ain't gonna be able to get up. I, I gotta force myself sometimes. I'm like, girl, you've been sitting here too long in this heated blanket. It's time to do. It's time to get. It's time to clean this house. It's time to get up. It's time to do some stuff. <laughs> get yourself a heated blanket. You'll know how to relax. Oh, I know, Leah. With the sunshine, that is like the best feeling. And like uh, sometimes for me, because I'm, oh, I'm, I'm like a cold person, I'll put the heat on low. I'll get my heated seat on. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so cozy right now. Or a minky blanket. I used to, I used to, have a swing too. I had a swing, like a hammock swing. And I would sit in that. I would, it was like the ones where you fall in them and it would just be wrapped around you. And I'd be in that little swing. I used to meditate in that swing and that was the best. And then when I had the heated blanket and the swing, forget it, forget it, forget it. I wasn't moving. I was literally not moving, but you'll show yourself how much you don't have to do. You'll show yourself how there really are no rules. That that's where all these beliefs started to melt away. The fact that I have to do something right now. Like that's your human programming, your 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 belief systems kicking in. I got to do something right now. I got to I got to clean, I got to cook, I got to It's all the stories that you create over time. And you will prove to yourself time and time and time again by chilling and by relaxing and relaxing into relaxing. I didn't got, I don't got to do a thing. Everything got, everything got taken care of. Everything worked itself out. Everything's okay. Everybody's surviving. Everybody's still happy. I relaxed. I didn't do much today. So it's like prove to yourself that, listen, everybody's going to be okay if I chill today, if I take a rest day. How about the times you got sick? The times that I got sick and I couldn't do much, but you know, you still do what you can. Everything, everything, got, everything got taken care of. Everything's fine, right? Yes, I love that. That's awesome, Sapphire. I know, Leah. <laughs> it's so true. I like to say I get to do... Yeah, like you can make anything fun. I make cleaning fun. I put on my my playlist, my my music, and I'm singing and dancing and cleaning. Or I'll just go buy myself like a new cleaning product or something. You know, you know. Oh, I see a deer. I see a deer. He's buried though. I can't show you him because he's like buried behind the. I love this spot because you see a lot of pretty like pretty birds. And it's crazy because the highway is kind of right there, though. It's 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 kind of weird. But, yeah, um, what was I saying? I forget what I was saying now. Well, that's a belief, too. That's a belief. I used to say that, too. I had that belief. I had that belief, too, that if I, if I relax, uh, I used to play victim to that all the time. Oh, I can't relax because it's all there waiting for me when I'm done. But that's all, that's all another thing you're buying into. I get that because I used to say it. But it's just another story we tell ourselves to keep, keep ourselves like pity me, poor me. At least that's what I used to do. I used to be like, it keeps you complaining. Like, oh, if I sit and rest, it's all going to be there waiting for me. I used to play that game too. But it, it's, it's really not that serious. It's really not. I just noticed that I used to do it all the time and I would, but I would, I would talk to people that were like that too. Like, yeah, if I get sick, yeah, right. All that stuff. Or I used to say, what did I used to say? Oh, mother's day. That was a big one. I'd be like, yeah, man, I don't get mother's day. If I get to, if I enjoy my mother's day, I come back to all the same stuff waiting for me. Is it not? I was just being a brat. I was complaining. No, it's not. It ain't even that serious. It ain't even that serious. It's just, we create this stuff. We create this drama. Yeah. And now I look at my life by letting go of so much and all that stuff and 
bitch. My kids do their own wash. My kids clean their rooms. I, my kids, like kids, like you wouldn't even think I have kids half the time. They just do their own thing. There, there's, it just gets done. It, it works itself out. It works itself out. If you sit back and you just say, you know what, I'm just going to chill. Those things take care of themselves. And they, like my daughter would never let me fold her wash. She, she heck no. And she's my youngest. And she's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, no, I do it my way. Because I, 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 I just let it, I let them figure it out, right? They figure it out. I know, Leah. It was like we always had to we always had to tell a story in order to give ourselves something. That's what I learned. The more I was releasing things, it was like, oh, I, I need to my kids, I can't work because my kids need me. They need me. That was my story. It's like you always gotta have no, well, why can't I just do what I love and make money? Why can't that be my story? Why can't my story be that I just love what I do and I make money doing it? Instead, I had to go, oh, mom, well, I got to get home. I, I can't work this job. My, my kids need, so I had, to t I had to lean on that story in order to get what I wanted. But that was just another, that was another belief system I was buying into. That was another belief system I was buying into when all I had to really say was, I just want to, let's be truthfully honest, Kira, be truthfully honest. You just want to do what you love and you want to make money doing what you love. That's what you want. And there's something, there's, there's something there that you would love to do, you would absolutely love, and money would be the byproduct. And that's where trusting comes into play. That's where you just got to trust that you're moving towards that. I know there's something there. I don't, might not quite know what it is yet. Because I don't, I can't see it. I don't know. It's the unknown. But I know that's what I'm moving towards. I'm moving towards doing something that makes me happy that I love to do, and I get money doing it. So you just got to trust that. So that's the stuff that you want to manifest. If you want to manifest anything, it's, I want to, like I was saying, affirming, and I work from home, I work from home. Well, guess what, girl? You're going to work from home. You're going to work from home. And based off where my limitations were, that's what I manifested for myself. Was I happy? No. Did I feel like I was in prison again shortly after? Yes, because I was limited. And I wasn't really getting this stuff yet. You got to keep practicing this. You got to keep doing these. You got to trust the process fully, fully. And you will get there. You will get there. By doing these practices that I talk about, you get to a place where you're fully in. I get it. I got to trust. I got to trust. So just know that you're, I always say, go back to the basics of, I know my most abundant timeline exists. I know I'm moving towards that. Right? My most abundant timeline exists now because everything exists now. I know I'm moving towards it now. Right? And I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be now. So it's just full acceptance of this moment. In each moment. Always. It'll always be that way. So that'll never change. Thank you. Thank you, Nunez. It'll never change that you're fully accepting this moment in each moment. Even as your life changes, even as your life evolves... You're always accepting where you're at, knowing you're exactly where you're at, knowing everything's moving according to plan. Everything's moving you towards what you want. Everything's going to happen in the right timing for you. So don't worry about it. If you panic, if you react, it's okay. You'll line up with it later. Like that's what I always say. You just keep applying these practices. So I can see in my unfolding where I reacted and maybe delayed something a little, but it's okay because there's no, you can't make a mistake. And I, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. And that's okay to say I wasn't ready. You want to be ready. You want these things when you're like confident, secure, and stable, and you can be who you are. I don't want these things feeling scared. I don't want these things not being able to be myself. I want these things when I'm feeling good about who I am and where I'm at in my life. And, and, and that's what everybody truly wants. You don't want them. That's when we bring things in and we affirm, 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 but we're not even secure yet. We're still unstable and we're not, we're not secure and we're, we're losing it. It's not coming in right. Right. It's like, it's just, it's, we, we call it the opposite. No, it's not. You're just not aligned with it yet. It's, that's all it is. That's all it means. And it always, it's always going to go back to the practice. 
accept where I'm at, right? Accept where I'm at and settle into this moment and know I'm exactly where I'm at. It'll always be that way. That's how you'll move towards what you want in the best way possible is by constantly and consistently accepting where you're at. All right, I'm going to jump off, guys. I'm going to get off and go home. I might actually be on here later because um, I might. I don't know yet. I always say that, but I really don't know how my day is going to go. But I'm going to jump off for now. Thank you, I. This is, yeah, I, I these babies, I wanted to match my shirt today. And these have lasted me, guys. These are a dollar store nails. These are dollar store. Dollar, dollar twenty-five, dollar tree, dollar tree, guys. I'm not kidding. They are dollar twenty-five, and they have been. These are my favorite nails so far, and I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. If you like press on nails, except they don't come with the glue. You have to already have the glue. I don't know what their glue's like. It might not be that strong. I I've never tried it. I already had glue, but if you like press ons. Please get these. Even if they pop off, they're so easy to pop back on with glue. You don't even got to, did you pop them right back on? Like, I love, they fit perfect. I didn't have to file them. I, well, I did have to a little. Some of them were a little wonky. But for the most part, they fit really nice. The shape's nice. They fit like your nail perfectly. Thumbs up to Dollar Tree Nails. <laughs> All right, guys. Everybody have a great day. I love you guys. Maybe see you guys, lady, 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 later. Oh, you too, Shalina. All y'all create an amazing day, like Shalina said. Oh, I love you guys. I love everybody's, everybody's messages are so awesome. Oh, your talks are, wait, I love it. Someone, uh, uh, Zat, tri Zat Trippin says, your talks are morning sermon. Do you know that sometimes when I'm making a TikTok, I feel like I'm like a, a church person. The way I say it, like like so, like this, I'm like, I sound like I'm like a preacher or something. I don't even sound like I'm being myself. <laughs> All right, guys. Everybody have a great day. Love you guys. Bye. Maybe I was. I used to call myself... Um, what did I used to say? Oh, motivational speaker. That's what I used to say. So I would write in my, when I was Instagram back in the day. And I probably had like no followers. Like whatever. I had, I would say auth, auth, author because I wrote the books. And I would, be, I would write motivational speaker. But I didn't even speak. At that time, I didn't even really speak that much. Which is, which is so funny. Oh, uh, yeah. I've been, I'm, I've been posting them. So I'm going to post yesterday's live on YouTube. So stay tuned for that today. And then this one, I'll put, I have to go like a day in advance, but I'm trying to keep up with the, the, the YouTube. It takes a little bit of time. That's why I just heard a plane. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Love you.